Today on FTR TV is the second leg of my Sydney LFS trip and we are at Eastwood Aquarium. <laughs> Welcome back to First Time Briefer TV. Today we are at another aquarium here in Sydney. We have popped down to visit Sunny and the team at Eastwood Aquarium. Every single time I am in Sydney, I have to drop in and visit the team here uh, purely because uh, I love catching up with Sunny and they are a fantastic store. So we'll, uh, I'll take you for a walk around now. We'll go inside and uh, check it out. You can see just on a little strip shop here. Uh, Eastwood Aquarium. I love this saying, it's not just a hobby, it's an obsession. And uh, that is, uh, couldn't ring any truer uh, for most of us reefers. So uh, we'll walk inside now. I'll show you guys what's up. So this is the store here. Lovely selection of tanks here. We're going to pop around and check out all of their coral. Um, as you walk in, last time I was here, this was actually a, uh, a beautiful mixed roof display that has now become a tank to house, some wonderful colonies in there. I'll see if this lens makes it different at all. Probably pretty good, but you've got uh, heaps of SPS acro colonies, some hammers. This one here is particularly nice. And uh, all of these are priced here. It's the gold, uh, gold stem torch back there is 450 bucks. This gorgeous hammer here is 280, but uh, SPS colonies starting from $40 each. Absolute bargain, guys. And for those watching from the States, that'll probably blow your mind that you can get full grown SPS colonies here for 40 bucks. Um, and you know, not to be shied away from the quality, but get these into your tank and they will definitely settle. They look very, very nice. I see some crazy polyp extension on them. This one here is $300 for that. It's a beautiful colony. So sad to see that that is no longer a display tank, but some pretty cool colonies in there. And we go to this side, we've got a, uh, a Red Cedar softy display tank. With, uh, beautiful mature colonies in here, as well as some leathers and softies and this beautiful chalice up the top here. Diamond Gobi, he's just chilling on the sand there. That's a beautiful clown here. That's a big, big mama too. And actually, I forgot to show you this tank here, my absolute favorite clown fish of any at all. It's this pair of gorgeous black storms. And there's just something about black storms. I think because they look like cows. How could you not? Look at that. I don't know, I actually don't know how much these are, but beautiful, beautiful pair. Solid, solid black color on them and just bright, pearly white. It's good to see a few more of these guys around. Just a nice little display here as well. Uh, a little water box, water box nano, all in one. Just have a Marco Rock in there. You see how much I love my Marco Rock. It just looks beautiful and natural. And if we move over to this side, these are their fish systems here. As you can see, the tanks are fully, fully stocked with fish. And we've got a massive, royal, exclusive skimming here, just powering away. And uh, just getting rid of all of that funky gunk in the tank. But uh, that's a huge skimmer. That stands, I reckon, close to 1,500 tall, so it's a decent size. Now, if we run through the tanks and have a look at some of their stock, They've got, uh, they've got a yellow tang here. Let's have a look at how much that yellow tang is. There's no price on the yellow tang. How much is the yellow tang, Sonny? 
not for sale because it's like Bitcoin now. So hanging on to it. So beautiful yellow chain, pyramid butterfly. Uh, some gorgeous ampias, uh, lipstick tang in there. And uh, one of my favorite blennies is this guy here, uh, a tiger blenny. I think these guys are called off the coast of WA. So much character in them. And they're just a gorgeous fish. That's it. I imagine that's a little, little man of the face. Uh, some fire fish in here. And if you look up the top, I don't know what this is. Got some blue tangs, uh, coral banded. You look down here, you've got uh, heaps of baby blue tangs, heaps of vampires, uh, powder blue in there, Japanese swallow, some more pyramid butterflies, and beautiful little clean of rats here. Like I said, some uh, beautiful range of fish in here. Plenty of ant there's a purple tang there that's gorgeous. I can't wait to get one of those into my new system. There's some mature clowns up here. And then a really cool ant here that I don't think I've ever seen before. These look like to be uh, sunset ant And they've got this uh, beautiful sort of like pink striation on their body with uh, bright yellow sort of dorsal fin area, that's absolutely exceptional. Very, very different. The cowfish, I think that's called, which is pretty, pretty cute. And all the fish is having a bit of a feed. We got some barrier reef chromis, which are very different. Blue chromis, a fox face in there, a small little uh, uh, purple thing as well. Look at this cute little copper band, probably uh, five or six centimeters big. Cool. And a pair of Picassos in here. What's going on? A pair of Picassos in there. And then uh, we've got another uh, diamond spotted goby. A, uh, a big yellow tank, which looks like it's come out of someone's tank here. Yeah. Uh, one of their tanks, but it's, a, it's definitely an older fish. Blue chromis, school of clowns in there. And uh, some anties in there, bright pink as well. Beautiful. Now we move to the back here, and you've got uh, some high end uh, SPS colonies or frags as well. Uh, we've got, I think that one there is the Jason Fox, Fox Flame. Uh, some NEMS hanging out the back there, uh, Red Digi, uh, I think that's a uh, grafted, grafted Monty, Forest Fire Digi in there, heaps of uh, different Pontopora as well, Blue Digi, this fluffy as all anything, SBS colony. That's all. Uh, that's all lit by using the body mini strips and some T fives. By the look of it, this shop is a big fan of T fives, uh, because it gets very, very good results. And then this tank at the back here. This is uh, Sunny's display tank, which is uh, uh, looks to be like a three by three by uh, two foot deep, lit up by a couple of Illimagic blaze lights, hung really high, and I think. You know, the blaze lights are fantastic to hang high to get that sort of spread, the even spread in there, but going close. Some beautiful gold chalice, red and green Monty, some bird's nest acro, huge green, green stag, green uh, Dallas in there, uh, some fireworks, stack of fish. Just a, a beautiful selection of coral, and this tank is relatively new. It's got a fair bit to grow in. Uh, just a couple of random flow generators on the top there, on both sides, and a little wave maker just to add, add that sort of uh, flow around the tank. 
Absolutely beautiful. A couple of pieces I've just chucked in to start acclimatizing to the tank. But I can't wait to see this tank in another sort of six to 12 months and once it's all grown in. It's pretty cool being a center weir and just having that 360 degree view around the tank. And then we got these one, two, three, four coral bays that stretch the full length of the shop, all lit up with more Illy Magic blades as well. That uh, nice high sort of mounting height. One piece in particular that I thought was fantastic, which is unfortunately all sold, is this Ultra Dash here. Nice and hungry, but super bright. And then some more Heliofungia. Some more Heliofungia. Axel, Aston, you want to walk us down and show us some more coral, man? We've got some uh, Trachophilia in here, some bubble corals. And bubble corals? Heaps and heaps of hammers, isn't there, buddy? Yeah. So many hammers. Some reverse stems, some mottles, nice uh, toxic um, frog spawn in there. Yeah. Here we got some more acro colonies here. These are absolutely stunning. That one there is so bright and yellow. Got two of them. That would look really nice in uh, my tank if I was ready. But not quite yet. Mm. Plating acro at the back there. This piece is stunning. And then more heaps and heaps and heaps of SPS colonies. Just piece after piece, large, small, medium, every single size. So the SPS frags here, they're $25 each. And then if you have a look at colonies, small ones are $45, medium $65, and large is $85. Which is uh, absolute bargains in my opinion. And uh, plenty of different pieces to choose from. Sorry, mate. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. And then uh, this tank here, we got some more hammers, and A cans, beautiful selection. That sort of wall paint, chalice coral in there, nice gold chalice. And just plenty of pieces to choose from. And then you've got all of the stock on it, you can see some of the, uh, the full aquifers range. See our mix and all of that, carbons. Uh, they carry a lot of the Triton range here as well. And then up the top, I'm going to pan slowly so you guys don't uh, get a headache. We've got uh, Aquaforest test kits, components, uh, trace elements, fish food, ocean nutrition, beef of ocean nutrition, some uh, continuum products, uh, strong presence of uh, blue light and reef anabolics here as well. And you can see heaps of Triton stuff there. Literally everything you need from Triton is all in here. Uh, Sally Fed test kits, pumps and stuff that you'd need, as well as some plumbing fittings. These are Sand King plumbing fittings, which are absolutely fantastic. I've kitted out all of my tank in that, and it's uh, yeah, very, very good stuff. And if that wasn't enough coral for you guys, we've got these two middle banes here. Uh, all again lit with Illy Magic on this one and then T5 on the front one. And we've got just heaps of different corals in here as well. Uh, Duncans, War Corals, Montipora, Goniopora. There's heaps of different ones. So we Anthers as well. We've got some bricks in here uh, with all the different prices on there. These look to be like larger colonies in here. Uh, nice uh, bunch of blastos and some little mushies as well. Some tongue corals, plate corals. Always go for a beginner those plate corals with all the movement and watching them feed and eat. Some nice uh, fluoro orange ones over there on the other side. And then we've got the um, the crazy uh, SPS frag system. And I don't know if this lens is going to pick it up very well, but I'll take it off. So, you know, you frag a lot, and uh, that is how your flyers look. And they got these uh, cool little um, uh, black uh, frag plugs, which to be from Salty Ceramics. Awesome. They got that little bit of texture on there to hang on to the glue really well. Beautiful. You can see that just in the middle of fragging at the moment. If you have a look in here, it is just a wonderland, an absolute 
Frag City. From a red polyp dollars there, as you can see in the middle. There's some random macro. Heaps of different pieces. So it's a great way that if you want to test and get into uh, SPS, starting with frags that have been aquaculture in this situation is going to be your best bet. And we've got look at this little uh, photo studio from Rack City. Basically, a magnetic frag rack that you can put your frags in there and snap shots off. I actually haven't seen this before, so they look really good. I have to grab one of those, but that came really handy when you want to take photos being magnetic like that. So, that is basically the system. So, pop on down to Eastwood Aquarium, check out all of their coral and frags that they've got here, as well as their amazing range of fish and uh, sort of their primo coral as well here. Sunny and the team are absolutely fantastic to deal with. And uh, one of my favorite stores to always visit every single time I am in Sydney. So, Make sure you guys pop in. So if you guys enjoyed this walk around Eastwood Aquarium based out here in Eastwood. Uh, if you guys like this video, smash that like button. If you've got any questions at all, leave it in the comments section down below. My friends, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we're going to do a lot more walking around. And my friends, until next time, peace.